word. So if you are watching the recording of this, what I just went over is kind of what all we're going to be doing today. I want to make sure that everybody has their, um, their brackets and their calories done correctly so that we don't have to redo this later. Because what I found is every meal plan is different. Like A is different than B is different than C is different than E. So, um, Kim, what, um, I'm on plan B. Okay. Kim, you're B. Amanda, what are you? I'm plan B as well. You're B. Okay. That's helpful. Ellen. B. Ellen. B. B. Okay. So we have three B's and is Emily B as well? Yeah. Okay. So four B's. Uh, Grayson, you wrote, you're an E, right? I'm an E, yeah. You're an E. Okay, and Nancy, you are D. That's good, because so am I. So you and I will share a lot of the same recipes. And Grayson, a lot of those recipes, all you're going to have to do is add certain things. Yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah. And don't hit me in the eye with that. If anyone is I'm going to have to parent, so I'll be right back. Excuse me. Is anybody a C or we're all B, E, D? Yeah, there's, there's no C with the group that that's on right now. And you have uh, word problems on the other side, right? Is that really dangerous? Yeah. It's been a while. No. Hey, dude. Can you see me? Yep. Can you see you? <laughs> In fact, they all can. Yeah. The, the video conference, we're going over uh, just ideas for meal prep. Has anybody started doing stuff yet? Looking things up? Okay. I have not. I'm honestly fearful to, like, because I've, I've never used the um, portion cups before. So mm -hmm. I really feel kind of like unknowing I don't have any knowledge <laughs> okay Ellen did you say yeah I actually have been doing this this is my second day I know this is Amanda's second day of full-time nutrition right Amanda yeah Nancy have you done any yet okay that's fine I'm just working on time getting and, up <laughs> and that's totally fine so if everyone has did you say are you sure Brandy's a C Why? Well, okay listen to me Based on the okay. way he told me, the only reason I'm questioning that, Ellen, and I'm not questioning her telling you that, I'm questioning the maintenance versus, um, what am I trying to say? The maintenance versus loss. I mean, I'm looking at other girls on our, on our larger team that are significantly weigh a lot less than I do, and they are in D. Really? Me. So that's why I'm questioning it. I mean, based on the weight that she told me. Okay. You know, but. Okay. Well, I mean, you can only go off of what you're told. So. Um, no one is. So as long as you have those, we can kind of move along. Um, let's see. So. Grayson and I were talking about one of the best things to do and Nancy you were saying you're trying to get the time thing down what I have found is what I have found is that you have to start with your do you need to go upstairs as well you took all my things. yes I did um, you have to start with what time you're gonna work out and then branch out from that you cannot do it like I am so used to meal planning and then deciding when I'm going to work out and that will not work here. And the other thing that will not work that I know Grayson and I, you and I were specifically talking about is not knowing when you're going to work out. Like this plan is going to require you to schedule that. It is not an option. You don't get to willy nilly work out and fit it in your life wherever it works. You must plan it because the entire rest of your day aligns with that. So you have to be able to pick, and this is why, you know, like doing it without the person here is going to be kind of hard, Ellen, unless you know what time they plan on working out. Because Emily is going to be with me. That's why I was like, we'll do it because she's going to be super early morning. Her okay. workout 
before she goes to work. So we're gonna follow the same schedule. Um, okay. So I'm just I'm just trying to make something for Brandy, and then okay. maybe she will follow it and hopefully. Well, even if you just get her a collection of meals that will match up, maybe that can help her a little bit. Which is so. kind of what I'm gonna try. Which is what I'm trying to do. Things okay. are easy. Okay. So, does everyone have the times that they intend on working out? Nancy, what are you? Six. You're gonna try to do the six. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing the six. Amanda, are you sticking with six? Yeah. Kim, you're sticking with six. <clears throat> and Grayson, what time are you? Uh, most of the days it'll be uh, in the afternoon, and then there's some days I'll be in the evening. Okay. And then Ellen, are you what time? I'm I'm gonna do six. Good. You can hop on the group um, thing with us and do it with us. That'll be good. You can I got to get it out of the way. I'm like, That's right. Just get it. And I'll tell you, I feel like that. And I fought that for a long time. And truly the only reason I'm sticking with that time is because of our group workout. I would not be sticking to that time if it were not our group workout. I very much struggle with longer workouts, but I know that if we push play at six, we will be done before seven. And that is enough time for me. I mean, I have enough time to do the rest of my life if I am done at seven. Yeah, <laughs> get the like pre and post workout out of the way. Yep. Like those meals, I need those out of the way because they're the same things. It's easy. And then I need the rest of my day for like dealing with. Yeah, well, and dealing with the right, and it'll be so much better if we can just nail down a plan right now and then move forward from there. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing the pre-workout meals. Um, and I'm going to screen share a little bit because I've, I've already started pulling resources. I know Ellen, you have, oh, let me, before we do that, let me, let's go over. If you are working out at six, I can go ahead and give you, and I'm sorry, Grayson, that you're kind of on your own on this. I don't know how to, we can work on yours specifically after we do the six, but if you are working out at six, my recommendation is to wake up at five. You're going to do your pre-workout meal. And I, I hate being tough love about this, but you must prep that the night before. It, mm -hmm. it will not work to do it on the fly. Um, like I said, I've already started doing a full-time nutrition so that I can work out the kinks on my own before we do this large scale. And it, it has to be done the night before. Like you need to be putting it in your mouth at 5.15. So if you are not able to prep the night before, you're going to need to get up earlier than five. Like that's just the way it is. And that's not fun. Like five is early. So uh, as a <laughs> for Kim, How's that I one? never worked with the containers. And this is what I'm doing because Emily, like she, she was working, she's going to grad school. Like she's not a lot of time. And so what I'm actually going to do too is uh, bulk prep. For you would be like super easy. So I know we're gonna get into recipes and stuff, but like I'm doing like egg cups or there's like spinach, bacon, and quinoa muffins. Like yep. oh yeah, that's what I live on. Like legit, wake up, you just put it in your mouth. Yep. Like uh -huh. Sunday is like a huge prep day for you, and that way you can minimize as much of like having to measure specific things in your containers because it's like already done. Yes. Yeah. I fully intend on doing all of that for the week, at yeah. least the first couple of weeks until I get a swing of how it goes. Totally. And I think that that's going to be the best bet for just about everybody. Um, like I said, yeah. unfortunately, this, this can be a fly by the seat of your pants kind of program it. You can do it that way, but I will warn you doing it that way will leave you in maintenance mode. You will not be able to see dramatic results. Yeah. without planning like it just doesn't work I would I hate that that's the way it, life is but that's just the way life is um so we'll go over like a big collection of recipes and try to fit containers for b e and d and then 545 is going to be your energize if you're doing a pre-workout if not skip it um so then your workout will be pushing play at six. So, you know, our Don't little chat, what's up? <laughs> Don't be late. <laughs> well, if, you, if you're late, and we can go over this. Those of you who come into, like, Ellen, I know you'll be new in this um, 
in the group workout and um, Emily too, if she's going to do the, the live group workout and Nancy and Amanda, if you come in late and you need to like, I mean, significantly 15 minutes late, do not start with us. Go ahead and mute your computer and start it on whatever device you have. That way you can keep track and you're just gonna be 15 minutes bump. So then everything for the rest of your day, just push back 15 minutes. It's not a big deal, just, it would behoove you to be on time. That way you don't have to change anything. Um, and I know that there will be days that I'm gonna screw this up. Like don't think that every eight, every day for 80 days, we are all gonna get it all right. That's not the point. Um, and even Autumn in her videos talks about like, the way this, this program was designed, is with the intent of this is the ideal situation. Mm -hmm. There are no variables. We don't have any kids. Everybody gets up exactly. Do that, the mom. Do that, mom. I'm not on mute. I'm so sorry. No, I don't care. You just got to. Sorry. I look at my schedule as a living schedule. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's a beautiful. Can you go upstairs, please? You're being distracting. Um, if you if you can't stop being distracting, you will have to go upstairs, okay? Um, yeah, it is a living schedule. You're exactly right. But it is very important for us to do our best to try to be on time so you don't have to adjust because it just makes it that much harder for you. Um, so if you um, – I don't have 645 on there. That's not right. Um, so, right? Yeah, you eat 45 minutes after your workout or take your app. You have to take your what's the supplement within 30 minutes. Yes. So it should be 6.30 for the supplement. No, right? 7.30. It would be 7.30 because our workout ends at 7.30 or at 7. Okay. So okay. recover and, if, and well, for me. Um, anybody in D is going to be recovering a fruit at 730 and then your next meal follows out um, an hour to two hours after so you're looking at sometime between 830 and 930 you need to be having your um, that's okay. Um, you need to be having your post workout meal so if you're the 6 a.m. block that is your workout block Okay, so when is the post-workout? I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. The, the post-workout supplement or the post-workout meal? Meal. Meal will be at between 8.30 and 9.30. 8.30. So then after that, you're looking at eating between two and three hours. So 9.30 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11.30, 11.30 to 12.30. So you're looking at between 11.30 and 12.30, you need to be having your lunch. And then after that, we're still following that two to three hour block. So, so let's say 11.30 to 12.30, 12.30, 1.30, to 2.30. Um, so between 1.30 and 2.30, you need to be eating your snack. 2.30, 3.30, 3.30, 4.30, 4.30, 5 about between 5.30. And this is, and I had to like, readjust because again my situation like a lot of people's is not ideal like matt comes home and we eat dinner together this won't be an issue for january but afterwards and we eat dinner at six at our house like that is our we are at the table time is six um and so i had to play a little bit with my timing in there and give myself little 15 minute buffers it's not going to kill you to eat three hours and 15 minutes and you know what I mean? Like you can play with it a little bit, but don't get so far off track that you're like four hours, five hours, six hours, giving yourself too much leeway is not going to be in your best interest. Um, so dinner between five thirty and six. Okay. So the question that Tara asked me yesterday oh is whenever you're planning your meals, do you go from when your workout ends? Is that where yes. most of it starts? Everything is from the workout end. But on the meals, it's from the first time. Like if you're supposed to eat number one between 11.30 and 12.30, you go from 11.30 to 
1230, 130. So it'd be 130 to two. That would be when it could potentially okay. start. So really it's going to fall closer to that 230 line okay. um, is what I would recommend. I mean, if you're eating, okay. yeah. yeah, I mean, if you're eating at 1130 in the morning, you're not going to want to wait till 230. You know what I mean? Like, but if you're eating at, does that make, does this make sense to everybody? Oh, yeah. If it, if it does. Okay. So the nice thing about this is, um, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet. One of the things that I was talking to with a couple of the other coaches was, do you have to eat meal option one and then meal option two and then meal option three? So I don't know if you guys have seen the video in the 80 day obsession, but autumn is very clear that meal option one, meal option two and meal option three can be switched in any order that fits your life. Uh, so yesterday I did two, then one, then three. Today I'm doing three, then one, then two. Because my dinner that I have planned doesn't line up for anything except for option two. So that has to go in that, in that third block right there. And then we readjust toward the back end. Um, so we will go through and like I said, for your groupings, you're going to, um, we're going to work on finding some recipes that really work great for that. And we're going to, um, I thought what we might do, Ellen, cause I know you're working really hard on your stuff and pulling recipes, but I thought what we might do is open a Google doc and that way, or, a, you know, open yourself a word doc on your computer. And then I will, we'll just share this and you can copy and paste it straight to your stuff so that you can pick out the ones that sound good to you because everybody doesn't like the same thing. I know Nancy, you have some things that you can't eat, correct? Only for the, about a few more days. Okay. And then you're able to. <laughs> then, yeah. Okay. So, but there are other people that have food allergies. There's other people that have food sensitivities that just aren't going to work. So you might have to adjust and play ingredient wise. Like I know, um, one of my clients can't have rice. So where I, where I have brown rice, she has to pick something else, that kind of thing. But to me, that's on your individual basis. I can't, unless you're paying me extra, I'm not going to sit around and decide, well, you need to have farro and you need to have quinoa and you need to have brown rice. Like use your, use your food list. And if you don't like peppers and the recipe says peppers, pick a different veggie to put in there. Like it really, whatever is on the list is fair game. So except for when we get into those refeed days and we'll talk about that a little bit because I've been trying to kind of get a heads up on that. Those are different as well. So um, let me show you guys some resources real quick. Now that we went through that, I'm going to screen share with y'all. Okay. Uh, can't, well, anybody, can you give me a thumbs up if you can see my, my thing? Okay, great. All right, so the first thing we are going to look at is make sure, I think everyone in this group is already in this 80 day obsession exclusive test group. Everyone in there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So every day, Autumn is posting videos. If you ever get behind and you need videos, apparently other people are posting videos as well. But look for the ones with Autumn's face. Um, and I will tell you, I will, I, let me encourage you in this, just as far as like trying to keep your eye on the ball and not get distracted, unfollow this group. There are 27,000 coaches in this group. I'm not telling you not to interact with them. I'm not telling you not to utilize them, but your news feed will be, blasted constantly with this group if you allow it to so unfollow it and then go check in with the group once a day That's set it yeah uh, so just go in and check in check out autumn's video she's got amazing stuff post your questions in here totally fine go in that one time a day and interact with the things that interest you make friends it's an amazing place to make friends because all of these people are coaches already mm -hmm. um so it's nice to be able to see if you see somebody you really like go stalk their page see what they do as a coach you guys are all coaches that have an eye on building a business making some extra income with this see don't don't copy what's going on with your sister would you mind going up to play with her? Um, 
but don't copy and paste their stuff, but emulate, you know what I mean? Like if you see something that's really successful, emulate what they're doing. It's no, there's nothing wrong with um, idea sharing for sure. But in here is the files tab right there. So people are uploading files like crazy in here. Utilize them. Like if you are B, People are, and this is what I was going to show you, Ellen, because you were talking about, like, I think trying to get. Yeah, I was looking at people's stuff. So uh, fi find one that you think looks good for you and ignore the rest, if that makes sense. Like, where are we? There we go. Um, but there are all kinds of things. And as this gets going, there are going to be people uploading recipes in here. This is, what are you doing? Not you. This thing is telling me. Hold on just a second. My, hold on, guys. Sorry. Put a pin in it. I've already upgraded this. I pay for this. <laughs> uh, you guys, we may have to. Uh, if you actually just want to, like, if you go into the 80 Day Obsession, Autumn, I didn't even know this. She told, like, one of her videos. If. You just want to see what she has posted. You just click her name and everything that she has put on that page will come up like all her videos, like anything, like yeah. all that stuff. So you can weed out whatever other weird like stuff people are just like posting. And you can type in autumn right oh, okay. there in the search thing. And now all of autumn's stuff is going to pull up. Yeah. That's Good. a great way to do it. If you have questions, type them in there because then that's going to pull up the keywords and that's going to help you guys. I may have to log off and restart this because it's saying that it's going to end for us, um, which is not okay because we still have work to do. Um, so let me finish the resources and then we'll stop the video and restart it. Um, a, a new thread, a new meeting with recipe sharing and trying to figure out container pods. Um, that's what I'm calling them, by the way, container pods. <laughs> right? I don't, I have tried to come up with a name for what I'm talking about because I tried to explain it to other people and I don't know what to call it. So I'm calling it container pod. So the Great. good vibe tribe, which is the greater team that we are a part of has their own 80 day obsession challenge. If, and I would encourage all of you to join this challenge because it will also be everything in here is specific to 80 day obsession and Jacqueline and Meredith are running it. It's excellent. As you share your results, as you share your progress, as you share your journey, you can put people in here that sign up with you. Granted, you do, they do have to get a challenge pack in order to be in this, but they don't have to be, there's not as strict a rules as like what was in the 80 day obsession coach test group. So Grayson, if your friend from down the street says, wow, Grayson, what are you doing? I really want to do that with you. And you're like, yeah, but we're two weeks in. She can still join because every Monday they're going to start a day one in here. So every single Monday, there'll be people starting day one. Meredith isn't even able to start for two weeks because she's going to be in Mexico. So it is, this is a great, great, great group to be in. Um, they are sharing all kinds of stuff. This is another one in the files, 80 day obsession, fixate recipes, schedule plan A, schedule plan B, schedule plan C, D, E, F. And then here is a start guide. So plan A, is this what you were talking about, Ellen? Something like this? Yes. Okay, this is what you need. Download this. Totally what I need. Yep. Download it and print it off. Oh my God, I don't even know how to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you, know my, you know my limitations, Daniel. <laughs> okay. So, it, okay, we have six. This makes me so angry that it's not recognizing that I've already upgraded my thing. I must have started the meeting wrong. So, um, so this is where you'll print this off and I would encourage oh, everybody to print this off. What? Was that Jackie's in there that you just showed us? Uh, this, she created all of them. So like, for example, awesome. you guys with plan B, mm -hmm. here's the one that's laid out for plan B. Jackie employs a graphic designer to help her business and her graphic designer made these for us. So use them. Sweet. Um, they're amazing. 
So it is very similar, exactly, to this. I guarantee you that's what the, that's what the, um, it's just like this instead of, yeah, so it gives you more days. More like a calendar. So on page nine of your, um, ABM session materials, there is one of those, but there's only three days in it. So yeah. basically she went through and made it an entire week. So you don't have to spend a thousand dollars printing your stuff. Which is totally <laughs> what I wanted. Exactly. So perfect. Um, so do that. It looks like she's already got um, the recipes going on here. Yeah. If someone put it on as well, but like they pulled out the PDF session from the fix eight that they like log that they wrote down. I mean, they cut it in like the circle thing. I'm not speaking English right now. It's why I'm just ignoring. Yes, the ones that have the circle at the top. Why did this do that? The ones that have the little um, right here, you see that little O? They're going to be 80 day obsession ones that line up with the calorie brackets oh, or the gotcha. calorie brackets. So again, this makes it super easy because, like this one, I made this last night. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the things um, that worked really well for our dinner last night. I'm going to have it for lunch again. The sweet potato and chicken wraps. Yeah, so the sweet potato and chicken wraps is going to line up with, let's see, green, red, yellow, orange. Green, red, yellow, orange. For us and D, that's meal option three. So um, that would make a great lunch, a great dinner, that kind of thing. Um, it looks like they have done a lot in here. I mean, they have 23 pages now. Um, which is going to make things super, super easy for us when we hop back on here in a few minutes and start container potting. Um, the other thing that we're going to do when we hop back on is I have my Fixate cookbook, which, I mean, it's just like the show. It's just the, the original cookbook before the show ever started. And it's got very similar things. So you can see right here it has container um, pictures. So I'm going to flip through here. I'm going to put little O's on them, and we're going to line them up. Be what beware because that's what I was doing because I was like oh good I can like have my recipes like if you look at the turkey sloppy joes okay our cookbook and you look at the turkey sloppy joes on the fixate one which is approved for 80 day obsession it is not exactly the same recipe okay what's different about it like the as soon as I realize like the onion is less there's some stuff that's like less so there's stuff that just it's just not just exactly. a little different or a little yeah, off. It's just a yeah. little bit tweaked, I think, with some of the ingredients and the amounts and whatever. Okay. Not that like having a whole onion instead of three quarters <laughs> of an onion is like, <laughs> legit make a huge difference. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't really look at like everything, but yeah. just beware that it's not exactly the same as our original cookbook. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's not going to be able to be quite as plug and play as it seems like it is. But I feel like as long as you're looking at the recipe and noticing the differences and keep in mind, this cookbook was printed in 2015. It's 2018 now and she modifies it all the time. That's one of the reasons that they decided to do the, the cooking show instead of just keep putting out cookbooks is because they found that they are constantly tweaking and making this better for us. So, um, that is probably why a lot of them are just a touch different um, because as they've gone through the refining process, that has been it. All right, guys, I'm going to stop this meeting and we're, I'm going to post another thing. So take a bathroom break, grab some water, um, and we will come back in about two minutes. Aww.